Why should persons with heart attack be taken care in an intensive care unit? The concept of intensive care units originated in 1960s. It was based on continuous monitoring of heart rhythm with ECG monitors being observed by trained nurses. The nurses were trained to detect dangerous heart rhythms and certain forerunners of dangerous rhythms like frequent abnormal heartbeats originating from the ventricles, the lower chambers of the heart. They would alert the doctor to initiate early treatment of heart rhythm abnormalities which used to contribute to early mortality in heart attacks. In case the heart stops beating suddenly, cardiac arrest, trained nurses could immediately start chest compression and artificial breathing, cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. Direct current shocks could be used to restart the heart using a device known as a defibrillator. Modern day ICOs are far ahead of these old ICOs equipped only with cardiac monitors and defibrillators. Monitors are not just ECG monitors. They are multi-parameter monitors capable of monitoring ECG, blood pressure, both non-invasive and invasive, breathing rate, oxygen level in the small blood vessels, pulse oximetry, temperature and carbon dioxide level of the air we breathe out. ICUs have sophisticated equipment for life support like invasive and non-invasive ventilators, infusion pumps to give medications with great accuracy, intra-aortic balloon pumps or IABP to support blood circulation, extracorporeal membrane oxygenators or ECMO to support both the heart and lungs and so on. So it is a high-tech region which needs a lot of training and equipment. Naturally, the cost of care increases as the sophistication of the ICU increases. But it is all worth in critically ill patients who have a heart attack for whom survival otherwise is difficult. Central consoles are available in the nursing stations from where all the monitors can be viewed in a single place. Alarm settings of individual monitors can be tailor-made to the individual patient's condition to avoid false alarms and consequent alarm fatigue. These monitors can be electronically linked across a hospital network to enable viewing from a remote location within or even outside the hospital for expert consultation if needed. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.